by parts yes we have x square tan inverse x and what I told you in the last lecture I absent no I told you I late if you have not watched the last lecture you may watch you should watch I late yes with that we know that which function should be the first I late inverse L logarithmic A algebraic T trigonometric E exponential here this is algebraic this is inverse in i late i so comes first we write tan inverse x as first function here tan inverse x first and x square must watch the previous lecture integrating by parts u dv will be equal to uv minus integration of v du tan inverse x first function x square second function so here I repeat first simple second integration minus sign of integration integration repeats and the differential of first so here first simple tan inverse x simple second integration x cube by 3 minus sine of integration x cube by 3 and tan inverse differential 1 over 1 plus x square dx so this is the new thing for you that you have x square in the denominator and in the numerator you have x cube So now what will we do? Yes, we shall x cube will be divided by x square plus 1, x will be the quotient x cube plus x minus, so we have minus x, so we have x minus x over x square plus 1. So that will be changed to this, x minus x over x square plus 1, you can enjoy the music, I will adjust this. So simple x minus x over 1 plus x square here is x with 1 by 3 and here with 1 by 3 minus minus plus 1 by 3 and also I have taken 1 by 2 as common to make it 2x the differential of 1 over 1 plus x square. So now it will be equal to x cube by 3 tan inverse x minus 1 by 3 x square by 2 plus 1 by 6 tan inverse x. No, 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 no tan inverse x. That will be log natural 1 plus x square. Because if it is 1 over 1 plus x square, then its integration is tan inverse x. Here 1 plus x square is the function, power minus 1, differential in the numerator. So we shall apply log natural here. Final answer will be x3 by 3 tan inverse x minus x square by 6 plus 1 by 6 log natural 1 plus x square plus c so here guys there is another very important question we have x sine inverse x over 1 minus x square and we does not have simple dv out there right so first of all we shall check that what shall we do because we have 1 minus x square as dv so 1 minus x here is to power minus 1 by 2 and here it is x so its differential is minus 2x that should be there minus 2x so minus 1 by 2 should be out of this so that is minus 1 by 2 and now we can apply power over 1 minus x here 1 by 2 over 1 by 2 plus c my mind we shall keep this in our mind and now solve this minus 1 by 2 and here minus 2x so remaining things are same sine inverse x over 1 minus x square now we have the first function is sine inverse x so integrating by parts 
here minus 1 by 2 out of the bracket first simple sine inverse x and second integration what will be the integration it is 1 minus x square power 1 by 2 over 1 by 2 and minus sine integration repeats 1 minus x square we can take it as square root which will make this question more easy 1 by 2 and differential of sine inverse x 1 over 1 minus x square dx now it is when we multiply minus 1 by 2 this we have only minus sine inverse x and also we have 1 minus x square and here once again minus 1 by 2 multiply to this that will make it plus and that is also cut so 1 dx so that is very simple question now become 1 minus x square sine inverse x plus x plus this question looks simple but that is not as simple again you can see i have made minus 1 by 2 and minus 2 so that is sine inverse x simple that is its integration 1 minus x square i have already made 1 minus x square square root by 1 by 2 these 1 by 2 will be removed so our question is very easy now we shall go to the last question of today's lecture that is also important and that is a very special question and the last question of the lecture e raised to power x sin x cos x that is i call it periodic function and there is no order of i late right so let it i because it will be periodic it will come again on the solution again so take e x as a first function but before that make it sin 2x by taking 1 by 2 out of this so it will become sine 2x because 2 sine x cos x is equal to sine 2x so here 1 by 2 will be there so we can put 2 out of this 2i that will make that question easy right double of i will be equal to ex sine 2x dx now integrating by powers first simple integration of second minus sine of integration and integration repeats and differential of first now here minus ex by 2 cos 2x plus 1 by 2 minus minus plus again ex cos 2x now once again take 1 by 2 as common here minus e raised to power x cos 2x plus now first simple integration of second sine 2x by 2 and minus integration repeats sine 2x by 2 and differential of first once again 2 will be shift here it will become 4i and here minus ex cos 2x and once again 1 by 2 common from here ex sine 2x minus 1 by 2 ex sine 2x now it is 4i equals minus e raised to power x cos 2x plus 1 by 2 ex sine 2x and now it is minus 1 by 2 and it is 2i so 2 will be moved only minus i will be shift here it will become 4i plus i and we have minus e raised to power x cos 2x plus 1 by 2 ex sine 2x plus c1 now it is 5i is equal to minus ex cos 2x 1 by 2 ex sine 2x plus c1 now i is equal to minus 1 by 5 ex cos 2x plus 1 by 10 ex sine 2x plus c1 by 5 will be equal to c so that is our answer this question is very difficult but i made it easy by shifting 1 by 2 here and by shifting 1 by 2 again here you can check anywhere no one can do this method i have done 
and made it easy. So see you in the next lecture very soon.